All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have survived another week, but I definitely feel like I'm falling apart. What's that doll where like the eye pops out on like a spring and you push it back in? That, that's what I feel like. Um, that's what I feel like right now. Uh, between the eye surgeries and the sunburn and I should do like a video showing you guys how how messed up my hands and skin are but uh, maybe if you guys really want to see it but I mean even 10 days later it still still really hurts it's still bad uh, and also still dealing with a few chargebacks harassment happens every week but I, I don't want that to be the focus of this video you guys have been supporting me and if you can just uh, leave a positive review on Google for any of the businesses uh, I'll link them down below we'll give you ten dollars off your next order so leave a Google review send me an email and we'll discount the order ten dollars but we have a decent amount of new stuff going on so we're gonna show you guys that first I showed you guys last week the jarred apples are now available uh, since we got the final shipment in I was able to uh, reduce the price to 750 for the small jar and about ten dollars for the large jar glass bottled organic honey crisp apples using mineral water and just a small amount of flexures organic glucose so very very special product uh, hopefully you guys like this you know it's for you know when you can't get high quality apples they're out of season or you just want to save some time and here we got the water kefir going uh, we're redoing the batch of pickles they're a little mushy so we're going to try like one final time to see if uh if we can get these right this time and uh also another batch of sauerkraut which you guys have been liking this is in last week too. We got the big two pound jars of beef tallow. If you guys want a, a special price in bulk, I might be losing money on these. I gotta be careful. I think all the bars are actually in stock for once. We got chocolate, vanilla, and berry best bars. We got some quinoa crisp up there. Uh, we got the plain pemmican restocked, meat granola, regular pemmican. And then there's the Totomi's cookies bars and the I don't know we still have them, but we're running a little low on the granola bars. And I do want to talk about that stuff more, but first uh, I want to show you guys the fresh meat and fresh blood that came in this week because if you guys don't order it, I don't think I'm going to do it again. So as usual, we have the bone and ribeye, bone and porterhouse, ground beef, fresh never frozen in the beef share option. Guys, these steaks are only $15 a pound. 100% grass-fed steaks delivered to your door for $15 a pound. I'm a madman. I'm actually losing money. I'm actually losing money. And what's new is we showed you guys we had the blood last week, but uh, now it's liquid. Uh, last time it was coagulated, uh, but we figured out how to keep it liquid. So if you guys want the fresh, never frozen uh, beef blood fertilizer, we have 40 jars available. We ran out of labels this week, so hopefully the labels come tomorrow before we can send everything out. But we got our fresh dairy in as usual, milk, kefir, sheep milk, sheep kefir, and then this is the other stuff. We got heavy cream, we got cream cheese, cottage cheese, Colby cheese. Uh, this is actually brand new. Sheep milk yogurt, we've never had this before, but now we do. And then we have just the raw and salted cheese that some of you guys wanted. Looks like my guys also made a batch of orange water kefir. Uh, seems like a limited amount, so. Oh, very important. The duck eggs and quail eggs are finally back, available on the foods website. Uh, so since we have a limited amount right now, we're not selling them in like the large 12 dozen boxes on the meat website. So frankiesfreerangefoods.com if you guys wanna buy uh, three dozen duck egg increments or four box quail egg increments. But the regular eggs are in stock. Plenty of uh, water kefir grains available too. Yeah, before I show you guys some new like puffed grains and stuff, we'll just hop in the freezer real quick and see if I remember what we got. I mean, just everything available for the most part. We got some porterhouse steaks, bone and ribeye steaks. There's the beef tenderloin, Angus burgers. I don't think we're giving away the collagen broth this week because we ran out last week. But we do have it available, beef stock concentrate, organic beef chisoi, beef in bone broth, running low on the beef barley stew. I showed you guys this last week. Uh, we have a lot of lamb chops available in the small portions that you guys were asking for. So, very affordable price. And we don't really have anything new besides this new ice cream flavor 
which is maple pecan ice cream. So like the highest quality maple syrup and pecan, I think, I think it's only $10 a pint, but honestly, I, I should probably be charging like $15 for this just because the, the quality ingredients that go in here are so expensive. So instead of sugar, we use maple syrup, and then we add some pecan butter in there. We ran out of the shaved sliced beef, but now we have uh, fajita meat, which is usually made from sirloin. That's what we have here, so. Thin sliced meat for fajitas, marinated, sauteed on the grill, put it in sandwiches, tacos, whatever you guys would like. And if I'm being honest with you guys, our guy accidentally sent us sirloin instead of ribeye so we decided to do that uh, instead of sending it back but come on look you guys see all the crazy stuff i've been doing we've only been in business a few years and you're getting like the highest quality raw local stuff amish farms all that imagine bro imagine three years from now you're gonna get we're not gonna even be shipping dairy bro you're gonna get a live lamb in a box that is currently like you can milk it and it's going to be delivered to you, not by FedEx, by like an 18-year-old Amish boy or girl, depending on your preference. So that, that's literally that's literally where we're getting at, bro. That's literally where we're getting at. Hand-delivered hand milk, bro. Imagine. Imagine. Uh, now, what's more realistic from the Amish is we have these puffed grain products. So uh, our farmer came across a machine. I think he was given it that is like this huge thing that heats the grains until they burst. So here we have some some white popcorn uh, made from white corn kernels, which are much less inflammatory and uh, much more expensive. So this is a popcorn that I can actually eat myself, super high quality stuff. It's just plain, there's nothing on it. No salt, no butter, no seasonings. It's just plain organic white corn kernels popped. Uh, we're gonna have these listed on the website. Uh, later this week or maybe next week as soon as our label machines working this is puffed wheat uh, this can be used like a cereal uh, the benefit of this is it's, it's a lot more affordable than the other grains so I think it's gonna be a cheaper price point so you guys can try this out I haven't tasted this myself yet so I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, in here I think is the puffed quinoa so we got puffed quinoa here uh, this is what we've been using to add uh, like crispiness to our granola bar and stuff. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if we would sell this on its own because I don't know if you would really like put this in a bowl and eat it because it's really dense compared to, to other grains. But let me know if you guys want the puff quinoa too. We could do that. That's organic white quinoa. This is organic soft white wheat. That's organic white corn. So guys, very, very expensive, high quality grains used. The minimally inflammatory ones and then here, which I'm very happy with is organic puffed white rice. So we were able to get puffed brown rice, but it's so high in arsenic, I didn't want to you know, make products with puffed brown rice. So now that we have access to white rice, I think we might actually do like uh, Rice crispy Treat bars. Uh, we might do some more stuff, but this is great for cereal. You know, you, you put this in a bowl with a little bit of sugar and some milk and it's, it's absolutely delicious. So you don't have to worry about the arsenic content of brown rice. You don't have to worry about the seed oils and chemicals they add to these uh, organic cereals that are even supposedly high quality. So this is what I'm, I'm really excited for this mainly. You know, the, the white organic basmati rice puffed. Uh, we can sell this on its own as cereal, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy in the morning. And we're also going to use it in some bar products too. So I'm, I'm really happy and excited about that. You know, the wheat, I don't think it's going to be as popular uh, the quinoa we're already using, but uh, maybe the rice will take the quinoa's place now that we have access to it. We did actually find like um, white rice flakes and puffed white rice that was supposedly organic from India, but it, it was it was so like I don't know what how they process them, but they smell like chemicals. So I'm glad we have this now. And as excited as I am for the popcorn, those those white corn kernels were so expensive. I'm going to see if I can find another source of them. But for now, this uh, this looks good. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. We'll see how it takes off. And I mean, then if we're able to source like a pallet of the grains, the, the price will be really, really low. Right now, I think we can charge similar to what other companies are charging for like those types of grains in the supermarket. But keep in mind, you know, 
if you go to Whole Foods and they're charging five or six dollars for a box of organic cereal, when you buy our cereal, which is going to be the same weight, so you know 10 ounces of theirs versus 10 ounces of ours, you're buying 10 ounces of pure organic puffed rice. So that huge bag of rice, which looks like two boxes of cereal worth is is actually the same weight so i think you guys are going to be getting a good deal actually yeah so i'm looking forward to getting some like high quality coconut milk or something and i'm going to try that that rice cereal for breakfast lately i've been doing the the detox smoothies for breakfast which is like the only thing i can stomach and enjoy because uh, like a hot bowl of oatmeal in the morning or hot food in the morning i just I haven't been that hungry in the morning lately organ supplements same stuff whey protein flextrose in the larger tubs running low on lemon light not looking forward to making that but uh, we got plenty of natural collagen in stock. On the foods website, we finally restocked the macadamia nut butter. Uh, vendor was sold out of this for months, but we finally got our hands on a lot. So if you guys have been waiting for the macadamia nut butter, we got it. We got them. And the other thing I wanted to mention was, uh, you know, we've experimented enough with this uh, plain pemmican recipe that it's, it's really soft. It has a really, really nice texture on the plain pemmican. Well, that's all I can remember. This is the food I'm taking home with me. We got some water kefir, water kefir grains, apples. I got some ribeye steaks for lunch, and I got some ham that we're going to put in, the, in my udon noodles for dinner. But uh, main, main big things this week, guys, are probably the duck eggs and quail eggs finally being back in stock after three months. So, again, if you guys want them, frankiesrangefoods.com. Uh, we got that fresh beef in the fridge that you guys better buy. And honestly, like, I joke about the raw tars and stuff, but I feel like they have the same belief that they're supposed to be natural and not work, and they don't actually have money to buy the food. So I don't know what the deal is, but, you know, because, look, people have been asking me for fresh, never frozen beef, low histamine meat, and when I finally offer it at, like, half the price that anyone else is selling it for online, no one buys it. So the only reason we're offering it now is because... Um, I'm helping my Amish farmer out. We're just doing like, we're doing like one cow a week consistently uh, for like ground beef and stuff. And then uh, you guys are ordering the beef shares now. So re regardless of what happens, whether you guys order it or not, I'm getting in a fresh cow every week. So if I can't sell and it starts piling up in the fridge, then I don't know, I'm losing my mind and not making money anyway. So I don't really care. But the, when I disappear to Columbia, you guys will know why. So... We have that fresh beef available, and uh, oh, the blood too, the fresh blood. I don't know if uh, it's being sold as fertilizer, so hopefully we don't run into any issues. But if not, we might not be able to sell it. And uh, the sheep yogurt's new. Hey, we guys, I got I got so much stuff I'm looking forward to. You know, hopefully we can do the steak sauce maybe this weekend, next weekend. Um, uh, we got some some crops that the Amish farmers are going to grow for us. We might do like a tomato sauce. Uh, a lot of, lot of things on the table that I'm looking forward to. Um, one thing I wasn't sure about, like, I don't know if you guys want like potatoes like this. Like, would you, would you buy like potatoes in a jar like this that are already cooked and ready? I think that would be pretty cool and convenient um, and definitely cheaper than this. That, that, that was an idea I had that we might be able to do. I mean, we got six six ice cream flavors, so <laughs> might have to open up Frankie's Free Range ice cream soon. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully all that kitchen equipment is ready this uh, this week. It's it's almost done. I mean, the guy's only been coming in here like one day a week. All right, we're gonna read some reviews so that I can clear up my inbox. So we got a five star review for the grass fed roast beef. The family enjoyed this. Got some sourdough, some Dijon mustard, and mayo, and it was very enjoyable. Can tell this ain't no store-bought roast beef. Then we got a five-star review for the Flextrose Organic Glucose Powder. Perfect glucose powder for shakes. Been using Frankie's Raw Milk, the Flextrose Raw Egg Yolks, and a whey powder to make a kick-ass vanilla ice cream shake. Love glucose as fructose does not work with my gut yet. Um, if you guys can search Flextrose on my channel if you want to... Uh, watch more about it but guys I have I don't even know at this point how many like genius business ideas that would make anyone a millionaire but um, you know when you're not in the club and when you're shadow banned and censored uh, they don't let you make the amount of money that your idea is worth 
Got a five-star review for the grass-fed marrow oil. Great, hard-to-find product. Five stars for quality and because it's hard to find, rendered marrow anywhere online. Decadent on bread, especially with a little salt. It's a very special product, guys. Hopefully we can continue to offer it. Very special product. The fact that we have that at any price. Five-star view for the grass-fed ribeye. Lovely ribeyes. These ribeyes are delicious, and I got a nice discount for buying bulk. When they arrived, they were still frozen solid. The ribeyes were all prepackaged and labeled. Speaking of which, if this fresh beef thing doesn't work out, I can still I can get you guys fresh ribeye every week now that we have like a lot of orders coming in. Um, I, it could probably be the similar price as to the regular ribeye, but you guys would just have to let me know, like just to order it with the fresh never frozen shipping so we let me know if you guys want like a fresh ribeye thing and maybe we could do like a weekly delivery subscription service so instead of the ribeyes being frozen you would just get them fresh um they should last in the fridge for at least a week or two so let me know if you guys are interested in that that might just be an easier solution uh, to what we're doing now with all this beef and we got five star view for grass fed ground beef 10 out of 10. Quality is so good you can call it steak almost. Had a couple bites of it when I was doing my meal prep and the resemblance of the steak was heavy during tasting it. Great packaging and service. Yeah, that's the uh, the ground beef guys that we get in is, is fresh, local, slaughtered literally like the week before. Uh, another review for the roast beef. Quality is so good you can call it steak almost. Had a couple bites of it when I was doing my meal prep and the resemblance of steak was heavy during tasting it. Great packaging and service. Yeah, I think people are so used to like like overcooked, crappy, low quality meat that when they actually have like our roast beef or our ground beef, it's the beef flavor and everything is so fresh and prominent, they like it more, bud. And we talked about it a little bit last week. Uh, you know, I, I've constantly been dealing with chargebacks and harassment uh, as, as a legitimate small business. Uh, th this week was um, was a lot of like chargebacks on the foods website. And, and to explain that briefly, you know, people order $300 worth of stuff, they receive it. And then they file a charge back and the bank sides with them. So, you know, it, it's hard. Uh, it's hard how everything from the payment provider to the website host to the banks, they all, you know, they just push the cost of the small business. And then at the end of the day, I'm the one that I uh, guess the short end of the stick. But uh, it just means like, you know, if one person does that, you know, like, the amount of orders I have to do to make up for that stolen money is, is insane. It's just, it's insane. We'll see how the next year or so goes if I'm uh, not in some Latin American country by then. I think there's a 50-50 shot at that, to be honest, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, guys, I want to go home and eat my, uh, I want to go home and eat, so. I think we've covered everything new this week. But, as always, thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for continuing to, um, you know, buy all the, the health products and, and natural stuff we have on frank-stefano.com. You guys can see Frankie Strange Meat, Frankie Strange Foods, where most of the stuff is that you guys saw in this video. Then we have organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, and Frankie's Naturals. Uh, we'll do some restocks on the Wi-Fi shielding soon, hopefully. But that'll be it. So, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And uh, we'll do some shorts. Uh, like a few YouTube shorts here and there highlighting some of the products that we spoke about today. But thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.